What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. So my good buddy Michael is getting married. So originally Michael and his wedding party decided that they were going to take a bachelor party to Las Vegas. Well, me being a new YouTuber, I can't really go on a vacation that doesn't help support the channel in some way. So my idea was to do a separate bachelor party, just him and I, where I would take him to a mountain biking destination of his choice and we would film it and create some content. So I gave him three choices. I gave him Bentonville, I gave him Austin, so we could try Spider Mountain, and I also gave him the Pisgah Canuga area in North Carolina, and that's what he selected. So in this video, I'm gonna document all of that trip from beginning to end, show you the good, the bad, and the ugly, and hopefully you guys enjoy it. So let's get started. Before we get rolling, I'd like to say a special thank you to Bikes Online, Session Components, and my patrons for keeping the channel running. You guys rock. So after about nine hours of driving, we had finally made it to our Airbnb, which was a beautiful place to stay. It was basically a small three car garage that had been converted into what they called the blissful barn. And just the way it was decorated was so unique that I had to leave a review on this particular Airbnb stating that it was one of the most unique and awesome places to stay that I've been to since I started going to Airbnbs. From there, we met up with our friend Michael Bro, who used to live here with us in Louisiana, but eventually moved to North Carolina where he's been residing for a very long time. He showed us a place called Sierra Nevada, which was a super fancy brewery. I mean, it was enormous. I could have sworn it'd be something you see in a place like Disney World. It was just magnificent with all the flowers and the brewing machinery and all the lounging areas. It was just super nice and it was a great way to start off our vacation. That night we called it a little bit early. Um, that way we could wake up early and get over to the Canuga Bike Park, which was about 30 minutes from our Airbnb. So Canuga starts off with a very big climb. A lot of people I had seen on the internet had referred to it as being kind of on the easy side, but I guess for us Louisiana boys, it was far from easy. It was a pretty dramatic climb for us. I think it was about 1.25 miles and you went up about, I don't know, maybe only 500 feet, but it felt like a lot. You ready for that e-bike, huh? Yep. I gotta, I gotta work something out with my, my boys at Polygon. You gotta work something out. Polygon sent this man an e-bike. Struggling out here. Please. He's not the only one though. Everyone we've talked to. No more, please. So the first trail that we dropped in on was called Evergreen. This was a flow trail from top to bottom and it was rated green and boy was it sick fast. And I think this was a big awakening for both of the Michaels because uh, it was so much faster than what we expected. And it was honestly a pretty hardcore way to wake up and start the day. Y'all ready? Y'all ready to get, just go, go live? Yeah, let's do it, baby. Woo. Not a good way to start. Just get weird. Get in a pretty high gear. Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. All right, let's have some fun. Woo! That is fast. Holy smokes, it's fast. This is sick. This is a green. Holy.
Holy shit! Oh my god. Me and Michael continued our journey. We climbed back up the hill and decided to start getting into the more nitty gritty trails. So yeah, we dropped in on GNCC, which was a blue tech trail. And that was a super fun trail. And Michael agrees it was probably one of the best runs we did all weekend. From there, we branched off and went down Tortuga, which was the blue jump line. Once again, coming from Louisiana, these jumps seemed absolutely enormous to us. And I think had I stayed there a week or so, I could have gotten familiarized with it to the point of clearing the jumps, but I was timid even to my very last run on Tortuga. So yeah, I'm not clearing these jumps this year, but they did get better on my second run. So big. Woo! Fast. All right. Almost. That's insane. Holy smokes. Once we made it to the bottom, we decided to venture up yet again for a third run. By now, we're getting super tired. That is 1,500 feet of elevation that we had climbed up. But we decided to get a little bit more adventurous and drop in on a black trail known as Painted Black. Very popular trail yet again over at Canuga. It's the one that features that five foot rock drop with a bypass on the right into a very hardcore left-hand switchback. Um, I'll be honest. The GoPro effect is so real on this particular trail that I wasn't ready for nearly any of it. I had to walk a lot of that trail. There's a lot of exposure. The rocks are way more janky than the camera will ever suggest. And again, North Carolina was starting off to be a very big eye opener for me. Anywho, we got to the bottom of Paint It Black even though most of that was on foot and we dropped in on the green jump line known as first in flight, which was really fun. You know, that you can't go wrong with the green flow trails. They're always fast. The jumps are pretty mellow, so even the lower skill level riders can catch some air and feel good about it. So for day two, rather than ride, you know, the super flowy, fun bike park, we decided to test out more of the raw, natural side of the Brevard, North Carolina area, and we went into Pisgah National Forest. We got some heads up on which trails to ride from some locals, both at Canuga and at some of the local bike shops, like Squatch Bike Shop. We climbed up for what felt like forever. I don't know how many miles it was, but I know it was over an hour of just straight climbing. And again, for Louisiana boys, it's pretty daunting. And we dropped in on Mid Black. All right, we're at the new middle black. 
no clue what to expect. Never dropped in at Pisgah. Thank goodness, we're finally descending. Now, these are also black rated trails, so we expected them to be kind of gnarly, but yet again, I think they were more gnarly than I expected because the GoPro effect is very real for all of the trails in North Carolina. And after, I don't know, maybe a minute or two, I had already flipped over the bars in a rock garden, which you can see here. Down. Yeah. Help me out. Help me out. Yeah, I'm down. I just don't want to flip my bike off me because I can't tell what's going on. Thankfully, the bike flipped directly onto my back, so it was unharmed, and I just walked away with some scrapes and a hurt ego. Yeah, I'm good. I I plugged my front wheel in and it just stayed down over the bars, whatever. I'm a little skinned up, but like, I, th I think I'm okay, dude. And you can kind of see that for the rest of my ride because I'm riding super timid, not confident in myself at all. And it turns out once I got to the bottom, I realized that my bars were turned about 15 to 20 degrees to the left. So that was probably a massive contributor also to me riding sketchy for the rest of the run. But either way, I'm thankful to have gotten a chance to ride it. And towards the bottom, I got more comfortable and started popping off of rocks and stuff like that. And uh, what was the most impressive thing about this run was that Michael was really shining. And it turns out he's a fantastic tech rider. Once we started to allow him to be in front of me rather than behind me, he just took off and I couldn't catch him. So it was really cool to see that. And it just goes to show you that we all have our strengths and weaknesses. Once we made it to the bottom of Lower Black, we decided to go up one more climb to check out another trail called Lower Sycamore that somebody had mentioned to us. And that was a blue flow slash tech trail. And that one was really fun. I had no complaints about that one. By the time I got on that trail, I had already fixed my bars that were bent to the left. So it was a real smooth run for me. And yeah, that really kind of sealed the deal. Once we were done with that, it was back to the Airbnb to clean up and start packing a truck because this was just a weekend getaway. And uh, yeah, it was already over. During the ride home, me and Michael discussed all the fun we had and we realized we made some fantastic memories and had one heck of a bachelor party. So can't complain with the result. He's stoked. I'm stoked. I think moving forward, Michael's gonna find himself wanting to go to more destinations for mountain biking. You know, maybe next time it will be Spider Mountain. Maybe next time it'll be Bentonville. Maybe next time it'll be someplace we haven't visited at all. Who knows? Either way, it was a fantastic time. We both learned a lot about our limits and our strengths. And yeah, I encourage you to get out on the trail and do some of the same. Get on your bike because the ride is the cure and I'll see you next time. Who's my niece? Good size, it's happy. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be the one, watch. <laughs>